you know, I'm elated. It's been a journey and I'm thankful to God for keeping me healthy and I couldn't be more thankful to have come out here with the win and the world record. It's, it's, it's crazy, it's crazy. <laughs> Tell me about that world record. Tell me about uh, just that day today. Um, you know, coming into the semis, I knew it was, a, it was a very competitive field, so the goal was to execute and, you know, survive to the finals and seeing the world record, I'm like, yes, yes, yes. But, you know, I had to keep my composure for the finals and, you know, I think I handled that pretty good and all thanks to God. Did you believe that time when it first hit the screen? Um, at first I was like, where the wind reading at? <laughs> but then I wasn't really bothered because, you know, the goal is to... First place, cross the line first, and that was what I did. So, thankful. I, I asked you after your African record if you felt like you were running that twelve four zero. Now in that twelve twelve, did you feel like you were going that fast? You know, I, I woke up this morning. I'm like, coach, <laughs> coach, my legs are heavy. And she was like, it's okay. Your mind is just playing with you. You're ready to go. And you know, I came out trusted. Trusted my hard work and trusted that God is in control. And I just kept saying to myself, breathe. It's just another competition. Just breathe. And, you know, I did it. How do you feel to be the first world champion from Nigeria? Um, I've been that almost girl at every championship. And finally, I can say God did it. And you had, of course, Ruth was competing in the long jump. Esse was competing in the long jump, and she got the silver medal. Did that motivate you, having so many other Nigerians competing? Um, you know, it's a blessing coming out here to showcase our talent, you know. Um, we, are, we are a very big country, but, you know, the few of us who have the talent that God has given to us, we come out and we use it to the glory of God. And I couldn't be more thankful to be competing while I have my girls competing and doing their thing, I'm, I'm just thankful to have two medalists this time. It's always one medalist. So, yeah. And you also, like, as soon as you crossed the line, Ruth ran over and put the flag on you. What, what was that experience like? Um, you know, yesterday I spoke to them and <laughs> we kept saying, have you slept? I said, no. Have you slept? I said, no, because we were finding it so hard to, you know, sleep after the first round. And, you know, we said uh, a few prayers and went to bed. And I'm just thankful that we are here healthy and be able to compete congratulations and, <laughs> and just the consistency right year after year you're always here in the final you're always making it to the top right but you've always been just outside the podium what do you attribute your consistency and now able to make it on top of the podium to um you know i would say um once i'm LD, i'm i'm pretty confident i can you know do anything and just trying to stay calm because usually I tend to pressurize myself going into competitions because I put a lot of expectations on myself knowing how much hard work I've put in and but this time I just said you know breathe have fun and let God do his thing and I'm thankful. Okay, last question.